for a walk and have a look at the front, not to mention the lovely ducks that live in the river or stream. Hi guys, hello, Mr and Mrs. Oh, seeing each other off. <laughs> Seems very high actually. Not usually this high. But there, some more of the castle. Do recommend you coming to see it. It's um rather lovely, rather lovely. And there's a swan coming. Look, two swans. Mr. and Mrs. as well. Hi guys. Hello, I haven't got any food for you, I'm afraid. So enigmatic. Graceful and their little feet under the water are just paddling like crazy. <laughs> we come down. It wasn't like this last time I came. A bit more of the castle. That's um that's it. It's lovely here for the forestry work. And when the cars aren't coming along the road to go down to the wetland centre, which is all the way down there, um it's so peaceful. Look how high that stream is. Well, we have had some rain. More of the castle. She's a big girl, I tell you. Delightful. And as we come through the foliage, a bit more. You can get trips inside, I think it's between May and September. Um, it does cost you about 20 quid a ticket, which is quite a lot, but it can be an all day thing. There's lots to see, gardens and rooms and massive armoury in there. There's a massive great sword that used to belong, folklore, to um, a giant. I can't remember his name, begins with B um, in there. I'll tell you, the sword's taller than me. Uh, the sword's six foot something, it's... I'd never... Yeah. I'm, I'm quite a strong bird, but I wouldn't be able to lift that one up. And anybody that could swing that, you could jab underneath pretty quickly. It run. <laughs> Not good in battle. Not good in battle at all. I should just keep the camera rolling, I think, because um, another lovely shot. Let me get it. Lovely and clear the water is though. If you hear a splash in a minute, that'll be me. Isn't it lovely and clean. Come up to the moat house there. Let's go and have a look. There's cars coming along, ruining the ambience. Okay. That's modern life for you. Unfortunately, we can't do without our cars. I wish we could. There we go. It's beautiful. You wouldn't. Well, you wouldn't even know that. It's, that's not true. Actually, it's such a big castle. You drive into Arundel, and that's all you see: the castle and the cathedral which I've already done a vlog on. So you can check that one out. Arundel one, two and three, I'm really not sure which one is. 
Number three, I think. And uh, this is obviously going to be number four. For a tiny, t tiny town, I've done an awful lot. There's the museum, right opposite the castle. That's worth a visit. I think it's a fiver to get in. It's not free. Uh, but then again, what is these days? And this is where your main entrance is. So when it's open, you come here. And that's how you get in. Let's have a look at the castle times and then you'll know. Ah, there we go. There we go. Arundel Castle and grounds closed for the season. Reopens Wednesday the 1st of April 2020. And there is www.arundelcastle.org. Get all the information you need. So much more to it than that. So much more. This is really just blush, brushing the surface. And in here, where they hold fates and things and craft fairs during the summer. It's all closed now, it's January. I'm bitterly cold. My hands are freezing again. Still haven't got the gloves. There you go. I'm gonna go and find the teeth in the wall now. Right, I know you don't believe me. I know you don't about the teeth in the wall. I promise you, I'm not lying. Here we go. Let's have a look. Can you see them? Oh, you've not been brushing. And some more. There's an old part of an old gravestone there, I believe. I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. A facet hound well in a clan, maybe. Sundial. Hmm. Not facing, should be on the ground. Another, oh yeah, those teeth really are bad, my love. <laughs> so, yep, a hidden corner of Arundel. Right close to the slight, real white, close. It's a bit of a mouthful. There we go, near the Arundel Carpet Company off Tarrant Street. Cannonball. I think they're shoemakers things for shoes and an iron and something to tie up your horse or your dog. And some sort of plaque. Cupid, maybe. I don't know what she's doing with her hands. Maybe she's a mermaid, I don't know. Never looked that hard, but there you go, a secret corner of Arundel. And that's where the teeth in the wall are. Fascinating. Think. I didn't lie. Let's go. Right, and we look up the street. The tail end of the castle, which goes all the way along there. All the way along. Obviously, up further, because that's Tarrant Street. 